Hey guys, it's me, Speedlet Sonic, and welcome back to another Fighting Plural video. And today, I'm back at it with at least one with one more wild card round. Of course, normally I would want to try to get through the rest of my wild cards um, with ease and just get like all of them over with. But uh, normally that would be. But of course, some. Um, of course, we. Of course, some. Um, I figured I might as well just try to at least get a video out since we are. Since then, I'm going to be uploading this when we are only one week away from reaching the nine-month mark. Arc. It is currently the 28th that I'm recording this on. It will be uploaded on the 29th. The next week, I will be uploading the, the nine-month mark status update of how things are going between my remaining trains. So, of course, the only trains that have yet to receive... That, have, um, uh, that um, don't have three boosts yet... Are of C12 and E2's Graybeard variant duplicate. Okay, and of course we are only down to three world cards. Those being Purple 500 and both 800s under trains. So of course we're just going to be doing like a bit of a wild card round between all of these remaining trains, and then decide on what. And then just spin through your randomizer to decide the fate of what train is going to be ordered. I mean, of course, is what going to be getting the third or their next boost after. after. <clears throat> of course, this does feel like a bit of a pain with doing this, even though that I do want to try to be done with getting everything. Although I'm prob although I'm probably going to be ordering EF sixty five. I don't know which train to go for, but I feel like I might just try to go for that one regard uh, one first, since that um. Uh, since IDF 65 was the first, um, uh, I mean, of course, it was so far the only train to get um, uh, three boosts. I mean, of course, with the only train that has three boosts that it managed to win from from all from all the wins from their placeholder, being which of course was EF 510-501. But of course, that train is going to be a wild card at the nine month mark if that train does not arrive before then. But of course, we're just going to keep going on this until we reach the end. So, uh, yeah. I'd probably say that this will be the last, um, uh, video on, video on the Childhood Plural Trains Restoration Series for a little while, at least until I get up a bit of an update. As well, with, with wrapping up the Childhood, with, um, uh, wrapping up, uh, Xerxes Zerunukata's Fighting Plural Legacy Collection, I'm still trying to focus on, on getting a golden Playrail train, but I have not been able to get that. As well, there's also a Splatoon-themed Playrail train, which of course uh, one of my uh, mutuals on uh, TikTok has, which has pretty much surprised me. So I'll show you what that looks like. It looks like this, and that is pretty cool. And I want to get one for myself, which of course I will be doing eventually. But anyways, we're going to be deciding on which on which wild card is going to be wrapped up for good, and of course which which of the last two trains that has not gotten three boosts yet to get their yet another boost. And as well to those who are new to the Childhood Play Rail Trains Restoration Series, it's basic, It's of course of a focus on trying to restore every single Play Rail Train that I've lost as a kid, which of course I've been doing quite a lot of videos on, but yet I've never actually ordered any of them yet. But as well, I've also been preparing them for the nine-month mark, because of course after that, then the trains will have to get five boosts in order to be ordered. Them to be ordered next, in order to be ordered. But as well, before then, I'm going to try to at least get one more train before then. So, of course, I figured I might as well just try to get this over with and then just do other crap. So, yeah, these three trains are the only ones that are wild, that are that have wildcard slots left. Of course, I'm going to try to wrap them up as much as possible and then we'll just get on with everything else. But of course, or so the, of course, the last two that remain will be wild, will be wild cards cards along in the nine month mark at least until they actually do get a win and their time will be up. So anyways, let's get started. So of course we are only down to three trains left, those being purple 500 and both 800 units. That's first one to five wins, wins it all. And of course these three trains are pretty fast, so it could take a little while before they actually come to a collision. Of course, that doesn't really count, at least until uh, until a train manages to loop around the track at least once. Whoops. That doesn't count. The only way a knock knockout could happen is possible is if the train is actually knocked off the track by another train. A 
as shown like so. Two trains have fallen at the same time, which means that 800 unit two has gotten its first point. Now there is a bit of a slight difference with how I know how these trains are held apart. Of course, with, be, with how fast they are, as well with the markings on this side. There's none on this one for 800 unit one, but on this one, there is some markings for 800 unit two. Of course, now we're on to round two. Who 800 unit two has the lead? Indeed, can 800 and 800 unit one and purple 500 catch up? Let's find out. I think 800, I think this 800 has like a bit of a problem with trying to work. And like kind of like drains its battery fast. I have no idea why. Eight hundred, five hundred has gone down again. Eight hundred unit two is stuck. Eight hundred unit two has gotten another point. Nicely done. So far, eight hundred unit two is now ahead by ahead by two points. There we go, that should make things fair. Of course, I don't want to wear out the motor, but at least this is makes it fair. Okay, Purple 500 has gone down yet again. Okay, it looks like, uh, was that 800 unit one? Yep, 800 unit one has gotten its first point. Congrats. At least it's slowly driving to be even game. 800 unit one now has its first point. Purple 500 still doesn't have any, but let's find out if things are going to change yet in round four. Oh, hang on. All right, had to push 800 a little bit so that way it would and down goes purple 500 man that train is having some serious bad luck man and it looks like 800 unit 2 is going down again probably most likely yep and let me check to see which one it was uh Yep, 800 unit 2 has gone down, 800 unit 1, second point, nicely, nicely done. Alright, we're already through 4 rounds and both 800 trains are tied. Purple 500 still doesn't have any whatsoever, which is kind of unexpected. Get out of that train. There we go, that fixes that. Ugh, excuse me. Okay, none of the trains have gone down just yet, but... It, uh-oh, 800 unit one has slipped up. Uh, what? Okay. How did... 800 unit 
one survived that, knocking down both trains while upside down. I'd probably say that that was a good job out of that train. Nicely done. Nicely done. That was kind of unexpected. 800 into one now is three wins in a row and is still going strong. Yeah, I think the motor needs a bit of a check. I don't know. Let's, I think the motor is kind of like burning out a bit. I don't, I'm not entirely sure what's happening with that train. Uh-oh. There we go. That should fix it. Eight hundred unit two was lost again. Pretty disappointing for that train. That, I mean, of course, that train did get two points in a row, but then eight hundred unit one did manage to exceed, did manage to exceed. Probably seems most likely that we have to result to a time lapse, so I'm gonna try to get my uh, my tripod back on. So I'm gonna result to time lapse before I forget and see what happens from there. Wait, collision might be imminent. Nope, it's not. Okay, I think that might have been a waste of a time lapse, but let's see if 500 can. Nope. Well, I'll look back to the playback. Okay, with looking back to the playback, 800 unit one was the last to hit the floor, so that train has gotten its fourth, fourth win in, in a row. Round seven, probably not going to make much of a difference, but let's see what that goes. Okay, 800 unit two is on a side again. And the train's gone down. Oh, I know, that's 800 unit one that's gone on a side. Could mean 800 unit 2 might be able to catch up. Down goes that train. Let me just check to see. And yes, it's 800 unit 2. So it looks like that train is finally starting to catch up again. Nicely done. Okay, round 8. I don't know if it's really going to matter. I mean, if, I mean, 800 unit 1 already has, already has 4 wins. 800 unit 2 has 3. But purple 500 doesn't even have any. It's like this train is cursed or something. Looks like 800 unit 2 is stuck. I think 800 unit 2 was the last one to hit the track, but I'll check the playback. Hang on a second. 
Okay, I was right. 800 unit two was the last hit the floor. Now it's tie game between eight bolt 800 units. Purple 500 doesn't even have a single point, and yet the, I don't even know why I even put this train up on the field. But whatever. The next point between either 800 trains wins it all. And we'll be done as and we'll be done with being a wild card for good. Purple 500 is down. Now it's really a battle between both 800 trains to decide which one is going to be done. One is going to be giving out the wild card boost and to be done, or which one will be stuck for another day, for another day, or or as well, or as well, even in the nine month mark battles. These as wild cards. And I guess that puts an end to 800 unit one. 800 unit two wins. Congratulations. All right, with 800 unit two being successful against hit against his faster counterpart of 800 unit one, it's time to decide which train is getting its boot getting, getting a boost. Is it going to be C12 or will it be E2? In in this case, it'll probably most likely be C12 since that train is only has, only is missing one more boot, missing one boost away from having three. But let's find out. Oh, never mind. I guess it's going to be E2. Nicely done. So I guess this means the next wild card round, maybe, will be deciding on what, of course, most likely be before um, at the end and everything. <laughs> uh, whatever. And here's the final score. 800 unit two with five, five wins, 800 unit one with four, and purple 500 sadly with none. None. What a disappointment. But this, I guess, wraps up. For that and E2 now has a second boost, the duplicate of the Green Wheel variant. Well, guys, I guess this wraps up for today's video. Yo, we are all, and as well with the time that this is being uploaded, it on the 29th. We will only be, we are only one week away from the nine month mark. I'm probably gonna have one more battle. Blech, excuse me. Which will probably be a best five out of nine, maybe. I don't know if I want to go through with it, or if I just want to wait until the um, uh, like the final thing. I'm not entirely sure what to do. I don't even know. <sighs> but of course, after that, then we will just be down to. Of course, then we'll just be down to having placeholders. But as well. Well, after October, as well, after October 6th, then the nine-month mark will be in place, and trains will need to have five boosts in order to be ordered next. It's sad that, that C12 didn't even get anything yet, but this wraps up for today's video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to know when I upload a brand new video. Congratulations to Andrew Junior 2 for wrapping up, up his spot as a walled card in the Childhood Plural Trains Restoration Series. Series. Purple 500 and 800 unit 1 are probably going to be back at it again and continuing on and probably trying to wrap up. But so far, I guess this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.